Well, for many, dining room tables turned to desks this year. For kids learning from home, parents working with their children on all kinds of subjects. But what about personal finance? Here with some tips on how to teach your kids the basics is Greg Merced, a certified financial planner and CEO of the app Busy Kid. Good morning to you, Greg. Hi, good morning. I'm feeling guilty because I'm in Arizona at 75. Oh, we Sorry. are so jealous of you right now. <laughs> all right, so know, right? even though you're in Arizona, we're all still living through this pandemic. Why is now more than ever an important time to talk to your kids about personal finance? This is perfect, okay? They're around more. So this is a great opportunity to, to be open and honest with your kids, okay? The good, the bad, and the ugly. The good might be we got a sim stimulus check. They might not know what that even means. You can explain that to them. That's a good thing. The bad might be we still need to have little budget cuts around the house, and that's okay, but let's be honest and open with them about that. And maybe the ugly is t talking to your kids about a layoff or a furlough or something mm. like that. That's real important stuff that's happening to people. Great. we got to be able to be open and honest with our kids about that. So I think that's tip number one. We are seeing a demo of your app on the screen just there a moment ago. Uh, it's called Busy Kid. Walk us through how this encourages kids to learn skills of how to handle money. Okay, so this is so important, okay? Busy Kid is your kid's first job with direct deposit, okay? You give them chores to do, they mark them off. I did it, right? We keep track of all that stuff. And then you as a parent literally approve the payday on Friday. And then we pull the money into our system and we divide it into these three buckets. Invest or save, okay, where they can buy real stock and then they can share with charities, donations, which is really important for a kid to learn at an early age. And then lastly, put money on a card and teach them how to spend responsibly. Like this is really important stuff. You can't just you know, like have your kid blow money all the time, okay? We don't wanna teach them how to blow it. They seem to have no problem doing that. We need to teach them how to save, share, and spend over and over and over. And that practice makes perfect, right? <laughs> you get sports people, that's what they do. They practice, they get good at it. That's what we want to do with money. Greg, I know you're a busy dad. Um, how did the idea come about? And share with us for parents who find the topic uncomfortable to d talk to their kids about money, maybe how they should approach the topic. Right? Isn't that it? We, we're, as parents, we did kind of reticent about talking about this stuff because maybe, you know what? We're not so great at it ourselves. Um, I think the best thing to do is use the technology that we have these days. Like, throw away the old school stuff, which is like a piggy bank, envelopes, jars on the, the desk, the dresser. Like, that stuff doesn't work anymore. We need to teach kids about invisible money. That's what I call it because Money nowadays is just numbers on a little screen to a kid or a, a person. So we've got to teach them in that way. So throw away all the old school stuff, use technology, and they're going to get it. We have thousands of kids in the Chicagoland area doing just that. And as you do it that way, they're going to get it. And then all of a sudden, they're going to start making better financial decisions, and they're going to be smarter with their money. And you know what? They're going to have more money down the road. You're never too lear young to learn about money. Uh, you can never. learn more at BusyKid.com. Greg, thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you.